a mean one, Mr. Grinch. Well, I suppose we ought to start, shouldn't we? Every who down in Whoville liked Christmas a lot. But the Grinch, who lived just north of Whoville, did not. You want to see the pictures too? We can do that. There is a picture of the Grinch who doesn't like Christmas at all. Oh, no. The Grinch hated Christmas the whole Christmas season. Now, now please don't ask why. No one quite knows the reason. It could be that his head wasn't screwed on just right. It could be, perhaps, that his shoes were too tight. But I think the most likely reason of all may have been that his heart was two sizes too small. Whatever the reason, his heart or his shoes, he stood there on Christmas Eve, hating the Who's, staring down from his cave with a sour, grinchy frown at the warm, lighted windows <coughs> below in their town. For he knew. Every who, down in Whoville beneath, was busy now making a mistletoe wreath. And there hanging their stockings, he snarled with a sneer. Tomorrow is Christmas, it's practically here. And he growled with his Grinch fingers, nervously drumming. I must find some way to stop Christmas from coming. For tomorrow, he knew all the who girls and boys would wake bright and early. They'd rush for their toys, and then, oh, oh, the noise, 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 noise. That's one thing he hated, the noise, the noise, the noise, the noise. And the who's, young and old, would sit down to a feast. And they'd feast, and they'd feast, and they'd feast, 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 feast. They would feast on who pudding and who rare roast beast, which was something the Grinch didn't like in the least. And then, and then, They'd do something he liked least of all. Every who, down in Whoville, the tall and the small would stand close together. With Christmas bells ringing, they'd stand hand in hand and the Who's would start singing. And they'd sing, sing, and they'd sing, and they'd sing, 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 sing. And the more the Grinch thought of this Who Christmas sing, the more the Grinch thought 
I must stop this whole thing. Why, for 53 years, I put up with it now. I must stop this Christmas from coming. But how? Then <laughs> he got an idea, an awful idea. The Grinch got a wonderful, awful idea. I knew just what I'll do. The Grinch laughed in his throat, and he made a quick Santy hat and a coat, and he chuckled, and he clocked what a great Grinchy trick. With this coat and this hat, I look just like Saint Nick. All I need is a reindeer. The Grinch looked around but since reindeer are scarce, there was none to be found. Did that stop the old Grinch? No. no. The Grinch simply said, if I can't find a reindeer, I'll make one instead. So he called his dog, Max. Then he took some red thread and he tied a big horn on the top of his head. <laughs> then he loaded some bags and some old empty sacks on a ramshackle, on a ramshackle sleigh and he hitched up old Max. And then the Grinch said, get up. Slay started down toward the homes where the hooves slay a snooze in their town, and all their windows were dark. Quiet snow filled the air. All the hooves were all dreaming. Sweet dreams without care. When he came to the first little house on the square, this is stop number one. The old Grinchy claws hissed, and he climbed to the roof, empty bags in his fist. Then he slid down the chimney, a rather tight pinch, but if Santa could do it, then so could the Grinch. He got stuck only once for a moment or two, then he stuck out his head from the fireplace flue, where the little who stockings all hung in a row these stockings, he grinned, <laughs> are the first things to go. Then he slithered and slunk around with a smile most unpleasant around the whole room, and he took every present. Pop guns and bicycles, roller skates, drums, checkerboards, tricycles, popcorn and plums, and he stuffed them in bags. Then the Grinch very nimbly stuffed all the bags one by one up the chimney. Chimney. <laughs>